what I said. Can we stop Sham? Bells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. We should have left by now. Damnish! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Yes, that Laroican, the greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramaz's tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. But you say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. If it's powerful acquaintances you're after, you have to look no further than yours truly. Few can match me, in either magic or talent. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers, racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Hmm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. 
I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. <laughs> I like your thinking. Besides, I watched you fight at the gate. I could use an ally like you, ready when you are. Hmm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade, name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. <laughs> Thanks. I prefer when they smile. Any questions, children? gonna shoot me your hands are shaking put it down she can't fight back that's the point get out of the way she didn't kill your brother Arca you're better than this shoot before you lose your nerve tiefling if you ever had it to begin with Salute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You move. Give you one last chance. Move! Cannon would hate me for this, but he took him from me. you. Damn it! But why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Not sure I get that. The bars don't make her special. But fine. Whatever. It's alright, Arca. Let's go. Oh, you teeths are all boring! Even your cages are boring! Believe it or not, but I witnessed a similar standoff back at the Yawning Portal. Of course, 
An establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainments. An inn in Waterdeep. Ooh, never a dull moment there. Adventurers come from all over Faerun to try their luck down the well. Leads into the Undermountain, you see. Full of death, danger, and vast amounts of treasure. Hard to resist. Oh, a drow, a dragonborn, and a cleric of Cyric walk into a bar. Your standard fare. Maybe someone was cheating at cards. Maybe it was some weird lover's quarrel. In any case, out came the crossbow, and a hush fell over the entire room. I stood up and yelled, Shadow Dark Ale for everyone. The crowd cheered. The tension drained into five dozen tankards, and soon all was well again. In a place like the Yawning Portal, the most powerful magic is calling for a round of drinks. Mind you, all I did was call for ale, but you went and stood in front of that crossbow. Well, I'd drink to that. Your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the Archdevil Zariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. A powerful friend with a keen interest in... privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. All right. What else is on your mind? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. No, but he named me friend, and that meant the world. But what of the others? The children never saved, the cries never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade, and so I heeded. Baldur's Gate born and raised, the only son of a single father. He wanted one life for me. I chose another. We haven't spoken since I left the city. A classic drama, <laughs> a staunch father and his rebellious son. Better heard from the Bard's lips than mine. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. By all means. <laughs> I've come to know a fair few village clerics, but none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. We should pay her a visit. Yeah, you bunch of softies! 